Yeah, I can relate to having a cold. I have a negative COVID test and a slight cold as well. So I understand not feeling well. And, you know, obviously Joe Biden comes in with certain deficits. He has a stutter. You know, he is it is more difficult for him to communicate for that reason. So there's a lot to mitigate the way that he speaks. And you can understand it. And we've observed him for a long time. That said, um, I, too, was on the phone throughout much of the debate um, with um Obama world people, with Democrats, um, with people who are political operatives, with campaign operatives. My phone really never stopped uh, buzzing throughout. And the um, universal reaction was somewhere approaching panic. Hmm. Um, the people who were texting with me were um, very concerned um, about uh, President Biden seeming extremely feeble, seeming extremely weak. And you know, I'll just reiterate what I said earlier. President Biden had one job tonight, and it was it, it one primary job. And yes, it was to litigate Donald Trump's, you know, criminality and, and all of those things. But he had to settle his own party. Mm -hmm. He needed to settle Democrats. Democrats, you know, they always talk about the Democrats are bedwetters and Democrats are always panicking. Yes, Democrats are always panicking. They're always scared, you, right? They're always thinking they're going to lose. Like Democrats are, are very pessimistic. They're, they, this is just neurotic. who they are. They're neurotic. But Joe Biden's job was to reassure them tonight. His job was to calm his party, to make them feel that, yes, I can do this. I have four more years in me. I have the ability uh, and the stamina and the strength to do four more years. He did not do that. He did the opposite of that. He made them more panicked. 